today's video. This is a B1 level writing lesson and we're going to be um, writing a text about um, achieving uh, a successful change or improvement in your life and we'll be concentrating on using linking words in order to establish the order of events when you're writing. Alright, so we're going to be talking about changing habits. So we have each of these people. Marie um, says, I'd like to go to bed and get up at the same time. My sleeping habits are terrible. Iga, I want to get fit. I'm only 22 and I always have a sore back. Like a lot of people my age, I sit down all day and I don't get enough exercise. And Peter, I don't eat properly. I drink coffee all day long and then eat a burger and fries for dinner. So here are the top problems for 20 to 30 year olds. Um, there's work, working on weekends, working more than eight hours a day, never taking a break from email, relationships, not spending time with family and friends, spending time on social media and no real interactions, finance, not saving money or spending money on unnecessary things, and health, not eating the right food, not exercising, bad sleeping habits, and taking medication for every problem. All right, so uh, we're going to read about Bianca. Bianca decided to make a change in her life. You can pause the video and read on your own, or you can follow along as I read. Bianca went to her doctor because she wanted to change some bad habits. She had a sedentary lifestyle, and she was eating the wrong kinds of food. Bianca started eating more fruit and vegetables. She stopped eating meat. In three months, she lost about 15 pounds or seven kilos. She felt better, but she decided to visit her doctor again. The doctor suggested physical activity. Bianca is shy, so what activity do you think she decided to do? Well, do you know anything about Zumba? Uh, Zumba is a form of exercise where people do movements while listening to Latin American music. All right, so we're going to put the um, events of Bianca's story in order. You can pause the video, try this on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. All right, so we start with letter B. I decided to try Zumba. And then on my first day, I felt very shy and I found a space near the back of the room. Then I seemed to spend all my time moving in the wrong direction. Even though I didn't have a clue what I was doing, I loved the music. And then I found it very difficult to copy what the instructor was doing. When I realized that it wasn't just me, I felt better. And then the steps started to become more familiar and I began to enjoy myself. After a while, I really started to get the hang of it and I felt much more comfortable. I started to go on a regular basis and I began to look forward to Saturdays. And in the end, I even stopped hiding in the back of the room. All right, so um, now we've got another version of Bianca's story, but in this version, they've added some um, of the uh, linking words. So to begin with is to show, you know, kind of the starting point. Um, and then at first, you know, what's happening again at the very beginning of the story. Next, you know, shows, you know, what happened uh, at the next point in the story. And then after a little more time goes by. And then after that, soon and in the end. So all of these are linking words to help establish the order of events in this story. All right, so we want to match the words and phrases to their use. So it says this word introduces an event that happened after another event. So that would be next. This word shows an event that occurs after a short period of time. So that would be soon. 
this phrase introduces an event that happened after another event. Um, so after that, this phrase introduces the last event in the story. That's in the end. This phrase shows an event that occurs after a longer period of time. That would be after a while. And these phrases introduce the event at the start of the story. That would be to get, begin with and at first. All right, so now again, you will use these uh, linking words to help the reader understand the order of events in this text. Again, you can pause the video and try this on your own and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so we'll start with a year ago. I used to have no energy. I was sleeping eight hours, but I woke up feeling tired. My doctor told me to change my eating habits. To begin with, I decided to stop eating unhealthy foods. Next, I stopped eating fried food and junk food. After that, I started to prepare my own lunch to take to the office, and I also prepared my evening meals. I started feeling better. After a while, I also stopped eating bad snack foods that were full of sugar, and I only ate fresh fruit between meals. Soon, I noticed a big change in my energy levels. It was hard to stay away from all the bad foods, and sometimes I wanted to eat chocolate and candy. In the end, it was the right decision. My doctor gave me the right advice. These days I have loads of energy and I stay away from bad food. All right, so when you can you guess what Greta's problem was? So what problem did Greta used to have? How did she cope with an early start at the office? And did the problem get better as she got older? Okay, so now uh, think about the ideas and we'll read to see if you were correct and then we'll answer the questions. Again, you can pause the video and read on your own or you can follow along as I read. I used to suffer from insomnia. Even when I was a child, I used to have trouble sleeping. Then, as I grew up, I started going to bed later and later. I used to go to bed after 2 a.m., get up late, and rely on plenty of caffeine and the fact that I was 20 to get me through the day. When I was about 25, I got a late night job in an office. I had to get up at 3 a.m. and work from 4 a.m. until midday. I used to be exhausted all the time. A few years later, I went back to working regular hours, but I still couldn't sleep. So why does Greta use used to in some of her sentences? And we studied this construction a few videos ago. So used to talks about something that happened at a certain point in the past or a repeated action in the past. So when she was a child, she used to have trouble sleeping and then she used to go to bed after 2 a.m. Um, I used to be exhausted all the time back when she was working this um, 4 a.m. to midday job. So just showing these were repeated actions in the past. And so if you were Greta's doctor in the past, what advice do you think you would give her? I mean, just think about that. All right, so now it says to read the question and skim the text quickly to find the answer. So you're not going to read this text um, fully. You're just going to skim over it to find the answers. So which words and phrases does Greta use to help the reader understand the order of events? So about two years ago, to start with, after that, then, next, at first, uh, maybe when, 
Okay, so these are all um, those linking words that help us um, determine the order of things. And you can find those without actually reading the entire text. So now read the end of Greta's story. What should she do now? Two years later, I can still only sleep for around six hours a night, but I wake up feeling a lot more refreshed and energetic than I used to. In the end, I have just about managed to overcome my insomnia. So what other advice would you, can you give Greta? And do you think there's anything else she can do? So all of us have overcome a problem that needed time and effort. And here are some examples. I, finish, I managed to finish a very important project. I tried very hard to buy, stop buying things I didn't need. I made a big effort to spend more time with my real friends. So what problem have you overcome? How long did it take? And did you have to try several times to succeed? So uh, answer those questions and we'll prepare to write something. Here are some more questions um, to help you get started or generate some ideas from your writing. Uh, when and how did you know that you had a problem? What were the symptoms? What area of your life was it affecting? What decision did you make and when did you make the decision? Did you make a plan? Did you ask anyone for help? How long did it take you to achieve your goal? Did you have any setbacks or any failures along the way? And in the end, what happened? So here is a um, kind of a structure, an outline for, to help you with your writing. So you're going to explain the problem that you used to have, write about the time you understood that you had a problem, write about the different things that you did over a period of time, and use words and phrases um, here to show the order of these things explained um, what happened in the end, and write how you feel now about the issue. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, you can even share your, some of your writing if you would like, and leave a comment. Uh, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and share with your friends. Encourage them to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.